Hello everyone, this is Mark from Leapworks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a responsive mobile menu using Elementor Page Builder and Mobile Menu Widget from Premium Add-ons for Elementor. By the end of this tutorial, you will able to create a fully customizable mobile menu on your WordPress website. Premium Mobile Menu Widget includes adjustable icons, off-canvas settings, and carousel displays, giving you the flexibility to customize both the design and functionality of your mobile menu. Before we begin, make sure that Elementor Page Builder and Premium Add-ons for Elementor plugins are installed and activated on your WordPress website. You can download both plugins using the links in the description. Please note that some features require Premium Add-ons Pro plugin, which is also available through the link provided as well. One further step, open Premium Add-ons Control Panel, search for Mobile Menu Widget. If it's not already enabled, just switch it on. Now let's go to the Editor page, search for Premium Mobile Menu, and drag and drop it to any section you want. Since this widget will be commonly used on mobile devices, I will change the screen view from desktop to mobile. Going back to the widget, as you can see, Premium Mobile Menu has five items by default. You can add or remove items according to your needs. Let's explore menu item options. The first control is the icon type. You can choose from font awesome icons, upload a custom image, use Lottie animation, or add SVG code. Font awesome icon is selected by default. You can go and pick the icon that fit your needs. When selecting a font awesome icon, you'll notice two controls, draw icon and path thickness. Draw icon will apply a drawing animation to the selected icon, while path thickness helps add a stroke to your icon. Both controls are working separately, which means you can add a path thickness without enabling the draw icon option. I'll switch on the draw icon option. As you see, the icon disappears because we haven't set a path thickness value yet. Again, path thickness means the icon stroke width. I will add, for example, 30. Then, I will go and set the stroke color. See? It's drawable now. As long as switching on the draw icon option, you can adjust the speed settings, which control how fast the animation plays. Keep in mind that a larger value means a longer animation duration. And you have the option to add an after draw fill color, which fills the icon with a solid color once the drawing animation is complete. There are additional options here for looping and reversing the animation. Enabling the loop option will cause the animation to repeat continuously. While reverse option allows the animation to play backward after completing its forward path. Set the endpoint to control where the drawing ends. And if you need to make the icon draw only when hovered, Switch on the Only Play on Hover option. See? You can also add a yo-yo effect, which makes the animation play forward and then immediately reverse, just like a yo-yo in motion. Going back to icon type, let's try image icon option. You can use it in case you want to use your own custom image. Simply upload and select the image you want. If you want to use Lottie animation, you'll see tree controls. Source lets you choose between using an external URL or uploading a media file. While animation JSON URL to paste the URL of the Lottie animation file. Let's go to lottiefiles.com. After logging in, Search for an animation that fits your needs. In this example, I will search using keyword home. This one is good. Click on it to access the download options. And in the handoff section, enable the asset link feature. 
copy the provided asset link and paste it into the animation.json URL field in your widget. Or upload JSON file. You can also adjust the animation settings to enable continuous looping or play in reverse. These options are similar to how you adjust settings for font awesome icons. The last icon type is SVG code. Let's explore it. To use SVG code, you can find your icon using Boxy SVG. Open boxy-svg.com and select suitable symbols. However, it's not required to choose only from the suggested icons. You can use any SVG icon from other sources as well. Let's choose the home symbol and then choose export from the file menu to export it as an SVG. After that, Click the Copy to Clipboard button and paste it into the SVG code field. And if you want the icon to be drawable, enable the Drawing option and adjust the path thickness. These options are similar to how you adjust settings for Font Awesome icons. Draw All Paths Together option will make all paths of the icon be drawn at once. Let's continue and see what else is included after icon type. Title option will give you the ability to add a title to menu items. Now I will apply some customization for my mobile menu. I will use Font Awesome as an icon type for all menu items and give each menu item a title. Then we will proceed to discover the rest of the widget controls. Action option will give you the ability to choose link or open off canvas. By default, the link option is selected. You will find the option to choose a URL or select an existing page from your site. Switch on is home page option if the page you selected or link to is the home page. Go back to the action type and select Open Off Canvas. This option gives you the ability to display off grid content. Begin by searching for Premium Off Canvas widget and dragging it into the layout. From there, you can choose to display either a text editor or an Elementor template within the Off Canvas menu. For this example, I'll select an Elementor template. Once selected, a button will appear allowing you to create a new template. Below this, you'll have the option to select from already existing Elementor templates. In my example, I will build an off-grid contact form. Let's build it together. After creating an off-canvas menu, the next step is to give it a unique name and publish it to make it live on your site. Don't forget to save the changes. I'll go to the display options and choose a position for my contact off-grid form. Let's set it to the left. Then, we need to link off-canvas with the mobile menu without showing the button. Let's change the menu trigger options and choose the CSS selector from the drop down menu to make the off canvas element invisible on the front end. Enter the CSS selector for the element that will open the off canvas menu, such as hashtag element, which corresponds to the ID of the trigger element you want to use. Now, let's go back to menu item controls and enter the same ID we used for off canvas widget.
This makes sure that when the trigger element is clicked or interacted with, off canvas menu will appear smoothly. Let's move on to another control. The badge control allows you to highlight something new, important, or special, like a new or sale tag. When turning on the badge control, you can add text that appears inside the badge. You have the flexibility to position the badge horizontally and vertically, so it aligns perfectly with the design of your menu. Now let's explore display options. You have the option to choose whether to display the mobile menu horizontally or vertically. and position the menu items as needed. Relative positioning will keep your mobile menu items static in their current position, while fixed positioning ensures it remains visible regardless of where you scroll on the page. You may notice that the menu is larger than the screen. No worries, we'll adjust it using the width control. For this example, let's keep it fixed and set the direction to horizontal. When you select the fixed position, two additional controls appear one for adjusting the horizontal alignment and another for setting the vertical position. Let's make it centered horizontally and position it at the bottom vertically. Next, you can adjust the width of the mobile menu and adjust the spacing between menu items. Item display control lets you choose how the items are displayed, inline side by side or block one on top of the other. And if you want to highlight the currently active item, simply turn on the active item indicator. Now let's move on to the next control. Carousel control allows you to display multiple items in a rotating slideshow. For example, display one item at once like this. You can adjust the carousel transition speed to suit your timing needs. If you'd like to highlight the active slide, you can use the center mode option. Feel free to adjust spacing between menu items and, if you'd like navigation arrows, turn on navigation arrows and adjust their position to fit your design. Now I will give my mobile menu some styling. Since this widget won't be visible on desktop and iPad, I'll hide it using the premium display conditions. First, select the action to hide the element. Next, choose device as the condition type, and then specify the devices where you want the widget to be hidden. Do you like what you see in the demo page? You can find this layout in the section templates. Just click on the star icon, then choose from the premium add-ons library. There, you'll find this layout ready for use and customization for your own projects. That's a wrap. You've now learned how to create and customize a responsive mobile menu for your WordPress site using Elementor and the mobile menu widget from premium add-ons. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have questions or feedback, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.